Yo, 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 what up guys? What's good? It's your GBT back to you guys again with another video. Okay, now this isn't really a review guys. It's not an unboxing either. I just recently came back from out of town. I told you guys in a video of mine that was like three days ago, four days ago, that I was going out of town and that's the uh, Spectrum STX2 2.4 gigahertz transmitter and you can see it here with my Traxxas stamp 4 drive. Now, I just came back guys from a big event and I'm not gonna mention it, but anyways, it's my own business. I came back from a big event, I was out of town and I finally got to getting this monster truck, this awesome monster truck out of my local hobby shop. And on top of that, I had them install the front and rear VXLs, the Stampy Full Drive VXL version, front and rear uh, ring and differential and pinion gears okay so as you can see here they're 15.99 16 plus tax about 17 bucks around 17 bucks and as you guys see here they come with instructions and all that okay now these are the instructions i believe to the new stampy full drive brushless vxl version okay now mine wasn't a vxl guys if you can remember i bought this as a brushed xl5 titan 12 turn 550 uh one ten scale monster truck and every you know if you can tell there's still stock parts on it right here I still got these stock, uh, these stock pieces right here on parts of it. But if you guys can tell, I had showed you the guts on the inside and I showed you guys that I updated it to a brushless ZTW 110 scale, 4,350 kV motor and a 60 amp ZTW Beast ESC, electronic speed control, right? What I also did was I updated to this Spectrum STX2 technology, you know, which is really good completely craps on the stock Traxxas TQ remote that came with this truck, okay? And as you can tell, it's missing wheels. The stock Emax style wheels that I had on it, they were the Sportsmax, but they're a smaller version than the bigger Emax. This is basically a smaller Emax and they call it a Stampede, if you guys didn't know that. I had sold those off to one of my local guys, you know, one of my local buddies who likes to buy a lot of stuff for me. So what I'm doing is I've already listed these on sale because these are the older parts, all right? These are the older parts and these are the uh this this is basically the number of well you know when you're looking up parts this is the part number for the stampede for the tracks of stampede four wheel drive vxl millennium version okay the one that comes brushless automatically out of the box ready to run ready to run brand new these are the part numbers that you need if you happen to have the brush version like myself for just 299 which uh, at the time i bought it was like three years ago three and a half years ago that I've had this monster truck and I recently updated it to brushless and to the new VXL Valinian uh, 3500 KV Stampede four wheel drive with, with, the, with the newer gears, okay? So these are the older ones you see here. The guy just stapled them and uh, put them back in the, uh, in the package of, of the new gears, okay? And uh, I got the new gears, of course, installed in, in, the, in this bad boy right here. All right, so these are the part numbers 5379X for the front okay and this is the one for the rear okay and that part number is 6879 okay you don't got an x or anything at the end and it's also 15 1599 so 16 foot tax and at the back once again ring gear differential pinion gear differential rear okay and if you guys need to contact Traxxas, that's their number right there okay for questions or technical assistance call 1972-549-3000 all right now, if you buy this as the VXL version, you spend over 400, which now it's like, what, 350 to like $450 for the VXL version, but we'll drive that is. If you buy that version brand new, guys, you won't have to worry about buying, you know, buying these two part numbers, okay? These parts specifically, because like I said, these are the older gears. You know, I was going slower with these ones. So on the 3S, I was doing about, you know, 44 to uh, 47 miles per hour, if you can... If you guys noticed in my video, which I didn't put a 3S video on there, but that's what I did on 3S off off video. And uh, on video, I did a lot of 2S runs. You could tell I was only going about 33 to 37 miles per hour, okay? Once again, that's the part number for, hold on, boy, for the rear. That's my dog, guys. He's right here. Boy, hey. Say hi, boy. Hi, boy. Yeah. You're a good boy. Yeah. And then this is for the front. Okay, yep, this is for the front. The front doesn't specify that it's the front, okay, in parentheses or anything like that. But um, 
This is the front, once again, 59, 5379X. And this is the rear, once again, 6879, all right? Once again, I'll show you the back of it. All right, for questions, concerns, you can also email them, contact their website, www.traxxas.com. That's the patent. And uh, made in Taiwan, of course. And see, like I said, old pinion, old spur, basically, or diff gear. All right, basically, it's like a pinion and spur. Okay, so these were apparently less teeth. And the new ones have, you know, bigger pinions and, you know, bigger teeth over here as well on the, uh, on the spur, on the spur gears. Well, they're not really spur gears. I believe that's the, uh, the ring gear. This is the ring differential gear, okay, the big one, and then this is the pinion. All right, so everything's just more beefed up and more teeth on the newer ones, which I currently have installed here. Sorry, guys, I didn't, uh, you know, get video at the hobby shop for you guys, but I just want to show you what I've been up to and give you guys a little update on what's been going on with me. I had an awesome trip out of town, like I said, big event, but I promised you guys that I was going to be back better than ever, stronger than ever, back to what I love to do, guys, and you guys know I love each and every single one of you. I've also included an awesome wheelie bar, guys, okay? The Traxxas navy blue colored wheelie bar. Okay, I also got that on my Traxxas Bandit. All right, and if you guys notice, that one's got the Horizon Hobby Connexus system in it. It's a 110 scale, 4,000 kV, four pole uh, brushless system brushless motor with I believe the ESC is also 60 amps okay or it could be a little bit higher I think it's like 70 something and so the amperage on that one on the ESC on that one may be a little bit higher than the ZTW Beast which is also 110 four pole uh, 4350 kV so higher kV a little bit more powerful a little bit more top end speed and torque or uh, less torque I should say a more top end speed but this is still torquey as hell you can still pop wheelies and you guys don't need to worry about that, but this one's a 4350 KV, okay? And uh, ESC for sure, 60 amps. But once again, I can take the body off and show you guys everything and then show you the bottom of it. Put these clips right here because they're important. You don't want to lose those. I do like the clip design, guys. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I, I'm used to the older way of doing things with Traxxas cars with, old, with their older vehicles, you know what I mean? I just prefer the clip design. But I am thinking about getting the Rustler four-wheel drive. I really am. I'm highly considering it. I may buy it. I may never buy it. And like I've mentioned before, guys, there's a Traxxas, uh, there's a Traxxas X01 that's being sold currently. Well, it's not being sold, but there's going to be a drawing on it on YouTube uh, from a guy that's actually currently subscribed to me, and I'm subscribed to him. He's actually doing the giveaway. Now he's doing a giveaway on a brand new one. Like I said, brand new Traxxas X01. On-road touring car, it's a one-seventh scale. Once again, one-seventh. It's a little bit longer than, an, than, than a Big E Revo. And it's got a shorter wheelbase. You know, shorter track, of course, shorter width as far as the width of the wheels. But it's a touring car. It's made and designed specifically to go over 100 miles per hour, okay? So it'll do anything from 100 to 107 or 105-ish, okay? Plus, you change out those stock gears, or not stock gears, you, you, you change out the gearing and make it even higher, you're gonna do at least 110 to 150. I've seen guys hitting one, you know, 110 to 155 miles per hour and more with the Traxxas X01, it's unbelievable. But with this one, with this monster truck, the Stampede, I'm not gonna make this a 100 mile per hour Stampede. I'm gonna be happy with 65 to 75 miles per hour. If I can get this bad boy up to 75 and over, like 76, 77, closer to 80, hey, great guys, fantastic. I love this vehicle. It has, it has served me well. It's very, very durable, very light to pick up. It's really not a heavy monster truck. And as you can tell, it doesn't look like much without wheels. It's naked, you guys know what I'm talking about? It's just, it's naked. It's like, a, uh, it's like an uncooked chicken, you know what I mean? It's kind of funny looking, right? It's like those chickens that you buy from the grocery store. But anyways, I'm not trying to compare food to an RC. I'm just saying, guys, it's funny. It's just an example, an expression. All right, so the size of this motor, uh, the size of the motor is a 30, looks like it says 3650, okay, guys? I think it's a 3650. But anyways, once again, it's a ZTW system. It's black. It's got its own little cooling fins on it. All right, it's got an exterior, uh, an exterior, uh, coating to uh, keep it cool, apparently. That's what I've been told at the uh, hobby shop from my local hobby shop employee. The guy that normally works on all of my cars. He's a great guy, shout out to him. And I still, as you guys can tell, I still got the stock drive shaft, 
but I am going to update from this plastic one to the aluminum one. All right, guys, so that's my next upgrade. As well as these little plastic things, I'm gonna get rid of them and go with aluminum, all right, guys? But anyways, I got the switch mounted on top of my steering servo. All right, there's a receiver box. I already got my receiver to this remote in there because that was a $49.99 combo. It was like a special, so I got a great deal. And once again, STX2 made by Spectrum. It's an awesome 2.4 gigahertz remote, and it's only a two channel, guys, but it's incredible. Stock front bumper, stock shocks. They're not the big bores, guys. I don't got big bores. Once again, wheelie bar. All right, there's the wheelie bar. Hasn't really had enough power to pull off wheelies with those old gears, like I said, but now that I put these ones in, which are, they're already installed in my monster truck, of course, the, uh, the VXL Stampede 4 drive version. This monster truck is basically on par with the Stampede 4 drive VXL Valenian 3500 KV 4 pole, but I got an even higher, more powerful motor than that one, okay? So this is a lot more powerful than the standard four wheel drive VXL Traxxas Stampede, all right? And it should blow that one out of the water as far as top end and torque, okay? And I don't know about torque, but mainly top end, okay? Still have the torque, but it's gonna have more top end speed. If I had to guess with the 2054 gearing that I have in it right now, guys, see the ESC 60 amp, 60 amp. If I had to guess what the top speed was, I'm easily gonna say that the top speed that I'm gonna get with the 2054 gearing, both 32 pitch gears, is gonna be anywhere from 66, actually it should be able to surpass 66 miles per hour, but it's gonna be anywhere from 66, forget 65, it's gonna be anywhere from 66 to 71 miles per hour, okay? Maybe even 72. But because, like I said, I dropped the gearing, I got, I'm one teeth, or uh, what is it? About two teeth higher on the pinion and 11 teeth lower on the spur because this used to be 13 pinion, I believe, and 65 two spur. It's a huge jump and it's gonna have a lot more speed. So it's easily 65 plus, easily, I got a 65 plus mile per hour monster truck here, okay? I know on the box, I think it claims 65 plus with a two wheel drive version. And with this four wheel drive version, it's 60 plus, but this is way more than 60 miles per hour now. It's definitely gotta be. It's gonna be anywhere from 65 to 72 miles per hour, maybe even 73 with some extra room, okay? But easily a 65 plus mile per hour monster truck, a 110 scale monster truck, okay? In stock, uh, I got another one of these in the baggie that it came with when I bought it and it's brush form, uh, another battery extension, uh, kit or a battery hold down bar that you see here, okay? I have it set on 25 millimeter. Also guys, if you could tell right here, I took out the foam padding on the inside. You can see some extra still kind of sitting there, but I ripped that off because I couldn't fit certain batteries in here and I wanted to. Also, excuse me guys, sorry, I had a hiccup. Or not a hiccup, I had to burp. Um, real quick, give me a second. Okay, also what I did was I zip tied these. The guy at the shop zip tied them for me because they're all over the place. I had him mod the antenna to make it look just like the Stampede Four Wheel Drive VXL Valenian version. Okay, and that's the uh, that's the uh, the receiver that belongs to the Spectrum STX2. So I got Spectrum technology in here. Once again, tracks this wheelie bar. All right. And what else was I going to mention? 2454 gearing. I got that covered. What else? ZTW Beast 110 scale 4 pole 4350 KV brushless combo, brushless motor, and a 60 amp BSC. And uh, what else was I going to say? I got another battery expansion kit, like I said, in my bag, in the bag that it came with, with the instructions and all that. Stock front and rear towers, okay, body posts, and uh, stock shocks. They're not big bores, once again, and they're not leaking oil. And here's the bottom of it. Might I add, it looks wonderful. Okay. Now you guys remember it was kind of leaking right here. Well, I didn't show you guys, but I had a bad leak all over here. It was all oily and greasy. The guy swapped out the, uh, the diff oils for me and made them and, and gave me a better oil, basically. The oil that was supposed to be in it originally, but for some reason said out of factory, it was very thin. So I don't know why he would say it was very thin, but he swapped that out for me. And uh, once again, there's the uh, little axle pins, whatever you call them, to put the wheels on. Those are stock, they came with the truck and it's brush form, everything you see here. It came in brush form, like I said though, I'm gonna get these changed out, front and rear. Put a little bit of aluminum on it, not too much. And uh, just prep it, get some talon wheels for it, the stock Traxxas Stampede talon wheels that come on the brushless VXL four wheel drive version. 
I'm going to get those since I sold the, uh, the mini Emacs looking wheels to one of my buddies. Stock front bumper, rear, rear bumper with the wheelie bar attached to it and stock wheelie bar wheels. And that's about it guys. I forgot what else I was going to say. I was saying something about modification. Oh yeah, he had to mod this chassis for me and do some shaving to get this motor in because I couldn't get it in without modifications. I couldn't, and not the motor I'm talking about, but the ESC. We had trouble getting the ESC and so the guy at the hobby shop, the local employee, had to mod that and get rid of the, the plastic here. He had to shave it in half right there, if you can tell at the bottom. He had to shave parts of it off to be able to get the ESC here to fit in. And this ESC automatically came with the fan, guys. So incredible, very powerful system. It's a lot shorter than a VXL Millennium, probably by like half an inch. But still, that makes a big difference in size when you compare motors. And that's about it, guys. I mean, I'm... I'm I'm anxious and excited to get this back out on the road. I want to see how it runs. Also, this system, this ESC and brushless motor comes with Dean's connectors or Dean's plugs on the ESC wire, okay? So you need a battery that has a Dean's plug or you can just buy some adapters and use them with it, which is what I do mainly for the most part. And other than that, guys, stock steering servo, pretty much stock everything except for gearing and the system and the, uh, the front and rear diff and ring and pinion gears okay so once again Traxxas Stampede four-wheel drive used to be brushed now it's brushless I may end up putting I'm not gonna put VXL here I'm just gonna leave it Traxxas Stampede but I may end up buying another clear body or buy another one that's just a completely different color and uh, put my own stickers on it alright guys do some customizing but yeah this is the stock frame or stock Lexan shell and might I add it looks great I love it. I haven't really beaten this truck up. If you can see the inside right here clearly, it still looks great, guys. Okay, so much love wherever you guys live. All of my faithful supporters, as that one guy likes to say, faithful supporters, my faithful supporters with this douchey little robot voice. You're a loser. Get a life. You and your, you and your buddies, okay? Just get a life, all right? Stay out of my lane. Stay in your own lane. Continue making your crappy video game live streams and talking to your little friend over there, your other friend, I'm not going to mention his name at all or yours, but you guys know what's up. You know, you guys are just straight up drama, constantly bugging people every chance you get. Okay. That's not how you're going to get popular and gain support and gain traction and make money. But Hey, do however you guys want to do it. I ain't telling you what to do. I don't tell anybody but what to do. Okay guys, basically I just want to give you guys my love and my support and Express to you guys that I'm very thankful and excited that you guys are a part of my a part of my team. Okay, you're a part of the GBT community. The GBT train is going to continue rolling hard, guys. And uh, stick with me on this ride, and you won't regret it. Trust me, guys. I will eventually do some product giveaways in the near future once I get more subscribers. Okay, so help a brother out as much as as much as you can, and help your local community out. And anybody who needs help, you know, you need. You know, to, to feed a family member, a homeless member on this, a, a, a homeless uh, individual on the street. You know, do things like that, guys. Do do good things for people because you know, a lot of things in this world are just up and down lately, and it's always been like this, but it's really been getting bad. And you know, people need people more than ever. You know, people need people more than often nowadays than they did in the past. Okay, because things are just getting crazy. So. Other than that, guys, much love to each and every single one of you behind this video or behind that computer screen, tablet, whatever device you're using. Like I said, support me. I will support you. I will take care of you in different ways, of course, not financially, but I will be there for you guys. I'll help you out if you have any questions. Please like, dislike this video if you want. If you're a hater, if you're a troll, hey, do what you got to do. I don't care. I know, I know my enemies are the ones disliking my videos, but it's all good, even if it's not them. It's all good. You can continue disliking my videos. Hey, I don't got a problem with the GBTA ain't tripping. I'm going to continue making tech videos and make good videos. And not just good, but from decent to good to excellent. I'm just going to continue making amazing videos in general, guys. Okay? In general. Generals. All right? I'm going to continue making good videos in general. All right? And you guys ain't going to stop me. My haters, that is. You guys ain't going to stop me. You're not going to stop the GBT train, baby. It's only getting tougher. It's only getting meaner. It's only getting crazier. And it's only getting more popular. So peace to all of you. Once again, comment down below as well. And share my videos. Once again, 
share my videos with a family member of, you know, whether it's a cousin, an uncle, an aunt, a brother, sister, share my videos and also share my videos with your friends. All right, guys, Gilbert Tech, signing out. As always, say signing out at times. You guys hear me say signing out, but taking off until the next video. I will have some more unboxings and reviews coming out for you guys also. All right, so thank you very much for watching this video and many others. And if you're new to this channel and you happen to be watching this video as your first video, just show that love, like I said, click on that subscribe, click on that subscribe button or tap on it, whatever device you're using. Also click on the bell. Haven't said this one in a long time, but click on the bell and make sure you click on it again once you tap on it or click on it so that you don't get partial notifications but you get all notifications of all of my recent and older videos. Okay, guys? So take care. Much love. Be safe, y'all. And I try to keep my content PG-13 as much as I can to, uh, you know, to spread the message and to, you know, have everybody of all ages, of all nationalities, of, of, of all age groups, like I said, watch my videos and enjoy them and not be upset by the end of the video, okay, or throughout the middle you know, whatever point you are at in the video that, you know, you're watching, you know, I, I do my best guys to not curse and to make everything PG-13 and to make everything to the point where, you know, it's not, I, I don't have to age restrict my stuff. Most of my, I don't think my stuff is age restricted. I don't think I have a setup like that, but either way, guys, I make my stuff enjoyable so that people of all ages can watch my content. Okay. From little, you know, five-year-olds, seven-year-olds up to the age of 80 plus years old. Okay, guys. Take care. Peace out. Until the next video. Later, guys.